All right. Here we are back again with another Commodore 64 game from my childhood, and this one is Aztec. Not to be confused with Aztec Challenge, which is a completely different game. Aztec was a game that I played. I must have had the manual because at some point I figured out all the controls. So I either tried every single key on that keyboard or I had the manual. I don't quite remember. Um, so Aztec, this is part of my um, series on weird controls, different controls, cryptic controls. There were probably about 15 different keyboard presses that you needed to have memorized to play this game effectively. And what I've done is I have remapped them to my gamepad to see if it makes the game more playable. Um, and speaking of playable, this game is, it's hard to explain. Um, it's really kind of glitchy, like you, you never know what this game is going to do to you. Even starting up a new game sometimes, it's, it seems like it's not clearing out the cache properly, so after playing the game two or three times in a row, I feel like it just crashes. Um, and strange things happen frequently. But I think that's the result of this being a very ambitious game. So I don't want to speak poorly of the person who designed it. Um, speaking of which, I think it was designed for the Apple II, so I don't know if that one was less glitchy, less bug-ridden. Um, but this was ported to the Commodore 64. They look almost identical to me, which is kind of interesting because... Uh, those are two completely different systems, although they might be running some of the same c code beneath the surface. Um, anyway, I just wanted to point that out. I don't want to disrespect a person who designed it, because this was an ambitious game. There there was no other game I ever knew of that was like this. You might even consider it, um, you know, basically a precursor to the, the games that became like Prince of Persia and the other cinematic platformers. Um, and I say precursor because it's this is early and it's it's somewhat primitive. Um, anyway, I'm going to load it up. Hopefully, I can get through the um, story without skipping it. For some reason, whenever I load it, it likes to skip the first screen. So let's see. It'll take a little while to load for some reason. Um, so yeah, played this game as a kid quite a bit. I'm going to carefully press this spacebar once and hopefully it only goes once. Or maybe I should press a button, I don't know. No, nope, buttons don't do anything. Alright. I mean, you guys heard the spacebar, but it didn't go. Come on. Ugh, I skipped that first screen. I'm going to try reloading it. Probably cut out some of this until you guys can see the storyline on that first screen. Okay, um, I don't know if it's because this is a cracked copy or what. Um, and unfortunately, to play in my modern computer, I have to play a cracked copy. But I had to start up a game, kill myself, start a new game, and then I finally could get the first page of the story to appear. So. Uh, here's the story. A few weeks ago, a rumor surfaced that Professor G. Von Forster, noted tomb robber and archaeologist, had discovered the entrance to the tomb of Quetzalcoatl. Inside this tomb is a gold idol worth a fortune to anyone who can find it and return alive. You are now standing at the entrance of the tomb. Before you enter, remember that the tomb is, well, is guarded well. Also, don't forget about Von Forster's nasty streak. He may have left some deadly surprises behind. So he's like an evil Indiana Jones. The value of the idol is high now, but is dropping steadily. If you select a high degree of difficulty, you could become a millionaire. But remember, the guards can be tricky and persistent. Some will even pursue you through what appears to be solid walls. Don't be surprised when lit dynamite follows you from room to room. This can be a powerful advantage for you. Or it can blow you up if you're not alert. Press any key. And um, the guards walking through the walls seems to be an intentional feature of the game. The dynamite following you from room to room, I believe, is a glitch, and they just put it into the story to make it not seem like a glitch. All right, and then um, 
I'm actually going to do a fresh load of the game because I'm very hesitant about this game and how well it works. So fresh load and then we'll start. All right, so we're going to start a new game and we're going to choose level of difficulty from one to eight. I'm going to go with number one. There's a good chance that I won't even survive that. So, and then eight just becomes ridiculous. But there's a lot of, it seems like RNG involved too, so who knows. All right, and then this is how it begins. Okay, I was hoping to find, I was hoping to get a pretty clear room to start off with, just to show you what I did here. So, typically press W to walk, R to run, uh, J to jump, I think it's G to crawl, but I don't know why it is, uh, S to stand or to stop. Um, and let's see here, to turn left A, turn right is D, I believe. Um, let's see, and then I guess P for placing dynamite. And then once you get weapons, you press F to go into fight mode. And there's some more controls. And then to climb up, what is it? That must be the C. So I have remapped all those to my gamepad. So I have more control over what my character is doing. I can run, I can jump, I can use the climb. It makes me walk like a weirdo. I can stop by pressing down. And then I think it's O for open, E for examine. And I don't remember what the other one is, G for get maybe. Those are all mapped to my gamepad as well. Um, anyway. So I got some more dynamite, and oh yeah, yeah, and you can see this cat just moonwalked back out of that wall and is now just floating in space, so that's the kind of stuff you expect in this game. Alright, and then I think it's also, I think it's Z to look at your inventory, so I have no bullets, no machete, no idle, seven sticks of dynamite, and three strength. Now, the strength is somewhat deceiving. Um, if you set a stick of dynamite on yourself, for example, you're just insta-dead. And then most enemies of the, in the game, especially if you don't have a, a weapon, they can just kill you. Like, maybe not in one hit, but they stun lock you and kill you very quickly. Now this is always, thought, I thought this was weird, Professor Von Forrester, I think they're implying that his dead body is inside that chest, which is really gross. Um, you can see my movements are actually pretty fluid thanks to me mapping things onto my gamepad. You know, this pile of treasure here, I can't really, yeah, I can't get to, I just fell down trying to get to it. So maybe if I stop on the stairs, yeah, okay. And you have to be careful even with that because sometimes um, it's like, actually it's dynamite. There's like dynamite traps. All right, let's walk. Oop. All right, we get this crazy dinosaur thing. And I really don't want to fight that thing. I don't even have a weapon. So I'm going to turn around and go the other way. Uh, remember, they can go through walls depending on if they feel like it or not. So we always got to be careful. There's a little snake on the ground there. Got to be careful about. All right. Nothing. On the higher floors, there's typically not a lot to loot. Okay, I want to stay from the cat because I can't really hurt the cat either. All right, yeah, lots of dynamite, but no weapons. Ooh, I'm gonna go down the stairs. No, thank you. Yeah, and anything you do, read. If you fall, for example, you might not take actual damage, but you get stun locked depending how far you fell. Um, I think that one of the things I find fascinating is the colors. The C64 absolutely could have done better with the colors, but more suggesting that the they just ported the Apple IIe stuff straight over. Um, didn't even like spruce up the code a little bit to optimize it for the C64. All right, and then, oh, and this is a trap. 
Let's see if I can escape it. So I'm going to actually escape itself. So this is a room that will fill with water, but there was also a trap that blew a hole in the ground. So we're just going to go through that hole in the ground. Oh wow! Normally you would just fall down and maybe take some damage, but I was walking on the weird symbols. That's pretty funny. Uh, skulls don't do anything, so I'm just going to keep going. Still don't have a weapon. Don't really want to get near any enemies until you have a weapon. Uh, I don't like that. You can, in a pinch, drop dynamite on an enemy. I think there's a cat over here, so I need to be really careful. Nope. Whatever I saw. More dynamite. Uh, this room looks a little suspicious. Always be suspicious of walls suddenly closing in on you. Lots of traps in this game. We'll go down another floor. Oh, is this anything? Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can search, like piles of junk in the wall. But yeah, um, it's nice once you get your hands on a weapon, you can actually start killing things. Oop. Oof. Okay, I somehow didn't take fall damage there. I don't know what that is. Wasn't strength. Oh, it was bullets. I don't have a gun, but I've got bullets. Alright, and then in this case, I'm trapped, but this is why you keep a lot of dynamite around. And then I'm going to just, if you kind of get off the same horizontal plane as the dynamite, you don't get knocked over by the explosion. I'll just go down. Alright, and then you can see my strength is still three, so I'm not taking damage from those the smaller falls. Um, the deeper I go into this tomb, though, the more I'm worried I'm ever going to find my way out. Oops, and then there's enemy Aztec guys, so you got to watch out for them. Easily killed if you have a gun, which I still don't have a gun, so I'm in trouble. Let's see, stand up and jump. Let's see, uh, there's stairs up there. So yeah, um, more dynamite. Again, without having a gamepad mapped all these controls and me having learned these new controls, this is all keyboard. Um, it makes it really difficult. And I, I did get good at it as a kid. Oof. Um, I'm gonna look in this room real quick, see if there's anything to loot. Nope. Oh, I got a machete, so I finally have a weapon. So I'll show you that real quick. Um, I actually have it as my R3 button to go into fight mode and then I can stab down or I can lunge forward and I can kind of skitter right and left. Um, so that will help against some of the enemies at least. But I'm actually kind of stuck here now so I actually kind of want to go back the way I was coming from so get down, crawl over here. Set that, turn around, ugh, the control sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't like to walk right after. Like right after he stopped, he won't like turn around and walk. Let's see if I can, oop, I meant to jump back to the other room, but I just fell. Yeah, like this. I had to press the walk button like three times before he would walk. And I do remember that from the original C64. Just being baffled sometimes, your guy just doesn't want to walk. Sometimes it says look out, and you can just pick up the dynamite and take it. So that's useful. Okay, I found the idol. So then if I can actually survive and get out of here, then I win the game. So I'm just looking for stairs up. What the heck was that? Okay, well I didn't take any damage. All right, Professor Von Forster. So, oh my God, I'm in the wall. Oh, okay, 
Controls don't fail me now. Whew. Okay, didn't take any damage. I don't know why I got into the wall. That was weird. Um, so the fact I found Forrester in two different locations suggests that he's been dismembered, but maybe I'm just reading into it too much. Okay. And then we'll see if I can even get out of here. Oof. Yeah, the walls don't always line up with each other. Ooh, we don't want to fight that guy. I don't have a gun. Let's go the other way and see if I can find a way up this way. Seems like the guy got tired after a while because he stopped running. All right, now that's a problem because I can't get onto those stairs. Hmm. I can't remember what the next room looked like. Yeah, and anyway, there's, there's also the clock running in terms of... <laughs> I don't know why I fell down. I was walking. Oh, boy. So your score actually goes down the longer it takes you to get out. Oof. Oh. I have to get creative with my dynamite placement, I guess. See if I can jump across this one. Nope, I missed. This is not going well. And this game is not forgiving. So you can Oof. try to turn around. I should have been walking. You can absolutely get locked out of victory and then I'm not holding your hand. And if a glitch decides to end your run, then a glitch ends your run. You don't have any power over it. Okay. Now, stairs like this are traversable but tricky, so you have to turn left and right at the same, at the right times, and then you're good. What's this? Nothing. I just picked up the blood. That's gross. I'll go ahead and take that. If it's not lit, um, usually you're able to pick it up. Oh, I might need the dynamite. I'm looking at getting like a score of zero when I get out of here. Well, I don't know what to do. Because that Aztec warrior guy was up here. I don't know if I can take him with just a knife or a machete or whatever. And he's gone. And he's over here now. Oh, is that a gun? Nice, I got a gun. My odds of survival went up a little bit. Oh, don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. All right. I survived that level. Um, yeah, this, this gamepad, once you get the hang of it, makes this so much more doable. It's like, oh no. This is going to turn into a ball. Um, okay, this is okay though. Oh no, that's not okay. Don't think it's over because it's not over. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get out of here before that wall gets me completely. Come on, get up. Okay, do not want to, oh geez, the walls are magically following me. Got 
Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, you get stuck in the wall and you're dead. Yeah, this is it. I can't get out. I got trapped. Unless I get pushed all the way out. That'd be kind of nice. Okay. Thank goodness for glitches. Uh, but get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. So... You can see... Come on, move. Oh my god, fell through the ground. Okay. You can see how ambitious this game was. Like, the walls closing in on you bit was... That's like a really cool idea. But it doesn't really work the way it should, in my opinion. It just feels like I'm fighting a glitch, not that I'm escaping a trap using my intelligence. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was a little bit on me. I shouldn't have been running like an idiot. Okay. All right, I already got a machete. All right, run away from the explosive. Run, you idiot. I think it was, I still have full strength, so the even when that wall knocked me down all those times, it didn't actually damage me per se. Nothing. Okay. Alright, we're gonna stick to a walk for now. Maybe run a little bit and then walk a little bit. <laughs> Cause I lost progress falling back down here. Alright, and then this was the room that was trapped, so no interest in going that way. I need to go this way. Oh, what? Did I imagine that? I thought there was an open thing there. <laughs> I don't know why I fell. <laughs> I was just walking down the stairs. Nothing. The fact that these are unopened boxes kind of bothers me. It means I haven't been here yet. All right, and that's a tricky one to do. A little bit easier in the gamepad. Skulls don't do nothing. All right. Yeah, there's these crazy plant monsters. And they're kind of glitchy too, so if you... I don't know how you're supposed to defeat them. I usually drop bombs on them, but if any part of them survive the bomb, it's kind of a... Oops. Let's see. Oh. I thought I saw one of those little bugs. Okay. Let's go up here. Yeah, so <clears throat> I don't think I'm getting any points. Um, let's see. If I'm not an idiot, I should be able to kill the cat. Okay, if I stop, go into fight mode, and then what is it? That's the gun. Oop, wasted a bullet. Dynamite's always useful. Let's see if the cat's even still there. Nope, cat's gone. So keep in mind that the guardians can walk through walls, so the cat probably walked through the wall and wrapped around to the other side. Nope. Nope. Oh, jeez. There. Okay, fine. Whoa. Moonwalking cat at full speed. Yeah, so I did want to highlight the craziness of this game. And this is it too, like you get your hopes up. Like I've got the idol, I've got a gun, got a machete, I'm at full strength still. 
You get your hopes up. Still doesn't mean I'm going to win. Let's see. In this case, it's not going to hurt if I... Oh, well, it took me t four bullets to kill that stupid cat. Yeah, I am not getting any points, am I? Gosh, look at these stairs. Let's try it up. Left, right. Walk, left, jump. I can't imagine doing that on the keyboard. Oh, oh, no. Get the snake off of me. Get off of me. Oh my god, that's it? You seen that? A full strength. Had a machete, had a gun. Fell down at the wrong time and a snake just stun locked me to death. <sighs> now, I'm going to do another run, but if nothing interesting happens in that run, I'm just going to delete it and we'll call it a video right there. So, either the video ends right here. And in that case, um, have a lovely day. Yeah, so, yep, just died again. Um, just leave with our final thoughts here. Um, considering this series is focused on the controls and how they could be improved with modern emulation and technology, this game is a lot more playable, in my opinion, when you can map every single action to your gamepad. Um, so I actually find it pretty fun, uh, again, keeping in mind that it's kind of buggy, kind of glitchy, but in a really charming way and a really kind of early eighties pushing the envelope kind of way. Um, so I really enjoyed it and, uh, you know, it, it builds the tension. I got all the way in, had the gun, had the machete, had full strength, got the idol. And then it was, honestly, it was my mistake. Um, I fell down right next to a snake and the snake killed me. Um, so yes, I wish you couldn't get stun locked by the enemies, but it's very realistic. It makes you fear the enemies in the game very much. Um, so when you do finally beat the game, you feel very accomplished because it's not easy. And yes, there's a lot of RNG involved as well. I've had runs where it was a clear run straight to the idol and then straight back out, but you can't count on that. So anyway, a uh, fun, quirky little game made much better by mapping the controls to a modern platform. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.